Your home is your sanctuary. It's a safe place to decompress after a long day and socialize comfortably with your loved ones. But your home can also be dangerous, especially if your loved ones are birds. In this video, we're going to cover the most common hazards birds encounter in a household. One of the most common reasons that people lose their birds is because of open doors and open windows. Whether a window is cracked open for some temperature relief or a door is open briefly as a family member returns. Here are some things we recommend at Parrot Stars to help ensure that your bird has a happy and healthy life indoors. Before you let your bird out, check around your home to make sure that all windows and doors are secured tightly. It's important to take note of the doors and windows throughout your home, even if you're letting your bird out in a single room. If you live in a home with other people, make sure you effectively communicate with all household members that you plan on having your bird out before you open the door. Hey guys, I'm letting the bird out! Many people let their birds ride on their shoulder when they're comfortable at home. When this happens, people have a habit of forgetting that the bird is there and will open the door to greet guests or to grab packages. Here at Parrot Stars, we recommend keeping your bird perched on your hand or forearm instead of the shoulder. Not only does this help keep track of where they are, but it also prevents a number of behavioral issues related to shoulder riding, like territorialism or aggression over the person carrying them, or biting the neck and ears of the carrier. If you have an open window, you may think you're in the clear if that window has a screen. It's imperative to remember, though, that birds have strong beaks, and even the smallest birds have enough strength to open a hole in that screen in seconds. If you're giving your bird a fresh air break, make sure you're monitoring their activity at all times. Make sure you provide adequate perching for your bird, such as an out-of-the-cage perch as shown. Never let your bird perch directly on the windowsill. You may be thinking to yourself that these hazards would be a non-issue as long as you trim your bird's flight feathers, but that's not the case. We recommend all birds be fully flighted for a multitude of reasons. Even birds with trimmed wings are still capable of flight and can reach great heights if they experience enough stress or fear. If your bird does escape, a clipped bird has severely reduced survival chances compared to a bird that's fully flighted. A flighted bird can evade predators and navigate rougher terrain and has better chance of getting back to you because of this. Most products that are designed for cleaning are toxic to birds. This includes floor cleaners, carpet cleaners, window cleaners, bathroom cleaners, and many more. Unlike us, birds have little to no protections or filtration systems in their body, and many gases inhaled by birds enter directly into their bloodstream. Because of this, the only safe cleaning product to use around your home are dish soap and vinegar. You may think that if the bird is located upstairs, using products downstairs away from their enclosure is okay. This is a common misconception, and airflow will eventually circulate around the home regardless of whether it was introduced on the ground floor, upper level, or basement. Mirrors and reflective windows are a huge risk to the health of your bird if they're flown into. If your bird spends time out of cage and in an environment with windows or mirrors, make sure you take the time to introduce them to these concepts. You can accomplish this by safely holding your bird up to a reflective surface. By pressing their body and beak against the surface, you're reinforcing to them that this element exists in a way that's safe for them and easy to remember. Another helpful trick is to apply painter's tape and post-it notes to a reflective surface to help make it visually distinct from the rest of the room. Once again, it is imperative that birds remain fully flighted to prevent egregious injuries when it comes to reflective surfaces. A bird that remains fully flighted for their whole life is able to maneuver their body and reduce speeds at which they're traveling. A bird with flight skills that is properly introduced to a reflective surface is able to avoid colliding into them entirely or can reduce their speed greatly at the last minute so that contact with said surface is a gentle bump. Ceiling fans are another danger people don't consider often when getting birds. 
Even on their lowest setting, a ceiling fan can still be very dangerous to a bird's health. Ceiling fans should never be on when a bird is out of their cage. These devices are often turned on accidentally as well, as many fans are linked to the main lighting source of a room. As a preventative, we highly recommend that ceiling fans be removed from a household completely. Many people own cats or dogs on top of owning a bird. While having your household pets together can present a cute photo opportunity, it's important to remember that domesticated cats and dogs are still predators. They should never share a space unsupervised. Your bird is a prey animal and has very few tools at their disposal to defend themselves from attack. It can take only a couple of seconds for your cat or dog to shift from being from calm and demure to acting on instinct alone. So make sure you introduce your bird at a safe distance and never leave the group unwatched. We advise against recreational smoking of any kind. Whether you do so inside or outside of the home, Fumes and particles can still linger on your clothes or your person after you return home and cause problems for your bird. Fumes caused by cooking can be disastrous. The obvious hazard is smoke caused by burning food. However, cookware coated in Teflon can be just as dangerous. When Teflon coating gets scratched, heating those elements releases toxic gas into your home. Teflon flu is a reaction a person may experience when non-stick coating on cookware begins to break down and releases toxic gas. Symptoms consist of chills, fevers, headaches, and body aches for people. But for your bird, the effects can cause immediate respiratory distress. To avoid any unwanted incidents, cooking should be done on utensils made of stainless steel. Make sure to check items other than your pots and pans for their safety as well. Air fryers, waffle irons, rice cookers, and other cooking utensils are often coated with these materials. It's especially important to keep this in mind during the holiday season. Having people over to share meals and quality time together creates a busy and sometimes stressful schedule. In these moments, people can sometimes be unconscious of the amount of cooking fumes being added to their home over the course of a day, or they can slip and heat up a non-stick dish that was brought in by a guest. With this in mind, we advise you to plan ahead. If you know you're going to be hosting an event, schedule a place for your bird to board safely, whether it be with a certified boarding facility or with a friend or family member. Some people believe that placing their birdcage in or near the kitchen is a good and enriching environment for their avian friend. Birds are incredibly social creatures, and the belief is that since the kitchen area of their home gets the most foot traffic, that the bird would be the happiest and have the best relationship with the household members if situated there. However, the kitchen is a place in the house that possesses the most dangers. In the past, birds have gotten hurt in the kitchen at high rates. Birds can singe their feet by perching on stovetop burners or on pots and pans that are currently in use, and items like knives, blenders, and coffee makers can do damage as well. It's important to situate your bird's enclosure away from this area and from potential fume proximity as much as you can. And before you open the cage door, confirm that nobody is currently cooking in the household and inform everybody that the bird is coming out of the cage. Spray cans come in many forms. Spray-on deodorant, PAM non-stick butter spray, and household air fresheners are common items found in the average home. Just like with other fumes, spraying the material from these cans can introduce particles in your home that are hazardous for your bird's health. Most products that posture themselves as a solution to bad smells have chemicals or elements in their recipes that create poor air quality for avians. Candles, wall plugs, air fresheners, and wax melters are not advice for use in homes with birds. When the bird is out of the cage, it is best to close off areas like your bathroom as well as your kitchen. Open sources of water such as toilets, bathtubs, and sinks are not safe for your bird. If you have an uncovered water source for any reason, make sure you take a moment to put your bird away or make sure the door to their enclosure is securely closed. Whether you're an experienced avian handler or a first-time bird owner, it's important to keep touch with the ongoing conversations about bird safety and health. Our goal at Parrot Stars is to prepare people to have as much success with their birds as possible by providing knowledge based on research as well as experience. The topics we cover today is a short list of info to help people better prepare their homes for birds. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like this video and leave a comment below about your own experiences. 
Future videos will cover topics like diet, caging, and toys, so make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with our newest uploads. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.